I've made quite a lot of videos about how to lucid dream. So if you want to learn how to do it, you should probably watch those. This video is going to talk about how to have several lucid dreams per week, maybe even every night. But for now, we're just going to keep it basic. We're just going to say, if you watch this video, if you practice these techniques and ideas, you should be able to lucid dream several times per week. And if you're watching this and you've been fed the idea that you're not able to lucid dream every night or even regularly, then I did make an entire video addressing that because there's a lot of um, negative programming and ideas in the lucid dreaming community where people say that you're not able to lucid dream every night or that, that it's difficult or that it has to be really hard and it's not possible to do it often. That's not true at all. And I made an entire video talking about that, which I'll put in the description. Okay, so let's just dive right into this. Firstly, just to have a quick reminder, what is lucid dreaming? Lucid dreaming, as you probably know, is the idea of being able to become aware or self-aware during your dreams while you're still sleeping. This means you can control them, you can do whatever you want to, you can experience anything. Your first lucid dream will be you know, quite intense and amazing, quite overwhelming, but there are many benefits to lucid dreaming and everybody should learn how to do it. I've made lots of videos talking about what lucid dreaming is, what lucid dreaming feels like, or what you can experience in lucid dreams what you should not experience in lucid dreams, the things you should try, and lots more things like that. If you want to see those, just check out my channel and you'll find lots of tutorials and ideas about lucid dreaming in general. Okay, so how can you have several lucid dreams per week? And to be honest, if you're completely new and you watch this video and you've not watched any of my other videos and you're just brand new to lucid dreaming, just doing this stuff will help you lucid dream regularly, it will help you have your first lucid dream, and it will just make sense all around. So the first step is you need to utilize what I call low hanging fruits. Things that are very easy to do, but they will have a big impact. They'll have you know, big results. You'll, if you do these things, you'll see results quickly. Low hanging fruits is doing things like reality checks first time in the morning, first thing when you wake up, because that avoids the false awakening loops. You can instantly you know, get underneath your subconscious mind and just into lucid dreams that way. And also doing things like meditation, there's a lot of research behind meditation. It's very closely linked to lucid dreaming and it's just all round a no brainer. You should definitely be meditating every day. And number two, use the most researched technique behind lucid dreaming. The mild technique, the mnemonically induced lucid dream has a lot of research behind it and it's proven to be the most effective lucid dreaming technique more than the wake back to bed because the wake back to bed in the wild, although they're effective, they're not really great for beginners because they're difficult to learn. You have to practice them. You have to get better and better at them. They're also going to make you tired the next day because you have to cut your sleep in half and interrupt yourself and then go back to bed, which makes you feel tired. Number three, you need to focus on your sleep quality and sleep time. Specifically, you need to be sleeping and waking up at roughly the same time every day. I know this sounds quite basic, but you'd be surprised how many people don't actually do this. Do you do this? Hmm? Do you stay awake really late and then play video games and then you wonder why you can't lose a dream? That's probably why. So. Focus on sleep quality, sleep routine, you know, going to bed at the same time, waking up at the same time. And you need to meditate at the best times. Okay, so what's the best times? Well, specifically first thing in the morning and last thing in the evening are what I would consider the best times to meditate. You also want to be doing what I call strange things. Do unusual things, things that you wouldn't normally do, things outside your comfort zone. Because when you do that, you're going to have unusual dreams and then these unusual dreams are more likely to become lucid because they're outside of your ordinary realm of things that you dream about. So you can just start doing some unusual or weird things. There are some warnings about having several lucid dreams every week. It's not for everybody and there are some things to consider. So the first one is that if you're not actually becoming lucid, if you're just having these dreams and you're in the blurred back, the blurred stage between being in a normal dream and being in a lucid dream, you might have what's called a lucid nightmare where you're having a, a vivid nightmare you're aware of the fact that it's a dream, but you can't really do anything about it. You can't really do anything about it. And that's called a lucid nightmare. You don't want that. That's like the worst case scenario that you just want to avoid completely. And the second danger of having multiple lucid dreams every week is the idea of false memories. I did make another video about this on my channel about false memories that happen in lucid dreams where you just can't seem to distinguish between a dream memory or a real life waking memory, you know? And it could get really awkward. Let's say if you, dream about having a conversation with your boss or co-worker or something and it didn't really happen and then you try and reference that conversation later and it's like it's just a mess everybody's annoyed you don't want that situation or maybe you do i don't really know okay so the third danger sometimes you want normal dreams you want to understand what your dreams mean or 
common dream symbols, you, you know, things that you might want to understand better. This is difficult to do if you're always lucid. If you're always controlling things and shooting laser beams out of your nipples, then you're going to find it hard to interpret that dream because you're the one giving it meaning. You're the one deciding what to do. So sometimes it's better to actually just have a normal dream and then interpret it. All right, so there's actually lots of useful resources you can use to have more lucid dreams. So I've spoken before about my lucid app. Please go and download my app. Nobody seems to care about it. I did mention it several times and it's available on iPhone and Android. I spent quite a lot of money developing this thing and there were so many errors at first. I had to really work with my developers. It was quite a nightmare challenge, um, but it's finally out there, this lucid dreaming app. You can, it basically gives you reminders to do reality checks. It's also a dream journal and there's also a couple of little like bonus features. There's also tutorials and you can even watch some of my videos there. So go and download the app if you haven't already. It's called Lucid Reality or How To Lucid. It de depends on which store you view it on. I do actually have some plans for updating and improving the app, which I'll get onto in another video. But at the moment, at least, it's quite good. It's free. There's no ads. There's no catch. You know, it's just a free app you can go and download and it will help you to remember to do reality checks. Does anyone care about my app? Maybe leave a comment letting me know if you care about my app. Uh, number two, the Lucid Breakthrough Program. You probably heard me say this 10 million times now, but I really do think it's quite an effective program. If you have never checked it out, or if you've, <laughs> if you've this whole time you've just heard me say the Lucid Breakthrough Program 10 million times, and you've never even clicked on it to read it, then you've kind of broken my heart a little bit, and I don't know what to do about that. But if you do want to mend things, if you don't want to fix our relationship here, you and me, go and click on the Lucid Breakthrough Camp link. No, not camp. Lucid Breakthrough Program link. I'm thinking of the boot camp. Go and click on the Breakthrough Program. Read it, see what it's all about. I did actually make a new beautiful video with lovely imagery and all kinds of stuff that explains more about why it works and how it's actually been designed to help your lucid dream even if nothing else has worked before. That's quite important because a lot of programs are based on theory, concepts that we kind of assume to be true, but they don't help you specifically if you've not been able to lucid dream before. I actually did that. I actually made that program just for you. So go and check it out. And not lastly, I, every time I say lastly, you just click away and watch another video. So I'm, not, I'm gonna stop saying lastly, but in addition, you might wanna check out the reality checks guide. This is actually a ebook I wrote specifically to help you get your reality checks to show up in your dreams. Because a lot of you were saying, okay, I know how to do reality checks. I know when I should do them. But the problem is they don't actually show up in my dreams. So I feel de unmotivated, demotivated. What's the point of doing these reality checks if they never show up in my dreams and they never make me lucid? I actually made an ebook specifically and entirely about that. So yeah, I'm quite nerdy about this. It probably took me longer than it should have done, but you can go and check that out as well. Or maybe I'll do an extra section. Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll start doing at the end of each video, I'll do like an FAQ where I answer somebody's question. Maybe next time.